the phrase that truly created history, a part of many of our childhoods. And quite likely, it's left a traumatic mark, and that phrase is... You got kick. Kick grooming walked, so Discord grooming could run. Hi, my name is Ali Tricasso, and I'm a survivor of the kick messaging app. Kick was the main form of messaging back in the day because, you know, it was it was before third graders got like iPhone 18s. All we had was iPods. And oh, how much I wish I had that thing still laying around because like maybe these messages would still be on there. And this got extremely popular. So now you didn't just have to get bullied at school, but now you could get bullied in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> Kick was also typically where people would confess that they might like somebody or just, you know, have an attraction towards them. But then the next day they would act like you didn't exist when they when they saw you playing on the playground. <laughs> Kick was also the home of one week relationships that for some reason everybody in the grade like knew about. There was this couple when I was in sixth grade who genuinely ruled the entire world. They were the main characters. Everybody and their fourth cousins knew about this relationship. It was this huge thing to announce that they would hug at certain parts of the school day. And yes, there would be watch parties for it. And how Kick ties into this was that it was actually announced on the kick messaging app that they would have their first kiss at a Friday high school football game on, you know, the bleachers, it's gonna be so romantic. And uh, yeah, a whole crowd watched them have their first kiss. <laughs> there was this anonymous account. To this day, still have no idea who it was, but you would send them a confession about whoever, and you would include that person's kick handle, and this anonymous account would send your confession to the person you wanted it to send to, and they never found out who sent the confession, but you would get to see their reply. I don't even know what you can compare that to. I was gonna come up with a joke for this one, and I feel like the concept is a joke enough. <laughs> Something that's a bit of a personal experience with kick is that I also used to catfish people pretending to be Acacia Brindley. Um, yeah. So story short kick whack and sure we can all laugh and reminisce on all the goofy times because it's really funny to do so but there was also a lot of evil shit going on that you know a lot of us maybe didn't experience or maybe a lot of us did experience and we didn't even realize that we were experiencing some evil shit in this video we're going to be talking about how kick was dangerous but also how it's still currently very dangerous but honestly and of course it's super sad and disappointing most sites that you go on you can find some really dangerous stuff thankfully though we actually have a sponsor for today's video that can really help limit the amount of dangers we might come across while searching on the internet so today's video is sponsored by atlas vpn atlas vpn currently has 6 million users on it and it was actually developed by the top cybersecurity specialists so you know it's a good one and right now for the holidays they actually have a sale going on that i'm trying to share with you and it's a really good deal the deal is that you can have it for 170 per month plus six free months with a 30-day money-back guarantee baby and this is a limited offer it allows you to unlock content that might not be available in your country so maybe you live in the u.s but you really want to watch rick and morty but you only have netflix mm, alice vpn they can help you with that they have your back or maybe while searching on google you're not really sure which sites are the safest to use well fear no more because alice vpn will actually only show you these safe sites and it doesn't just protect you either it actually is an ad blocker as well so if you happen to get the deal now when you're searching for clothes you don't have to worry about hot moms in your area ads <laughs> and the next part is actually my personal favorite because i love saving money but yeah Atlas VPN literally saves you money. Atlas VPN is programmed to show you the best deals on whatever website you're on, even online subscription prices that they might not be telling you about. Subscriptions like Hulu, Netflix, Spotify, stuff like that. And it's not just gonna limit you to one device, you can use it on all your devices. So yes, thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video and let's get on with it. Predators will forever be an issue on social media. It's it's just a really sad fact. With that being said, I do feel like there has been more education about the issue. And I feel like signs are being promoted a lot more than they used to. But it's unfortunately still happening all the time. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Discord is kind of just becoming what Kick was to us back in the day. But we're not really gonna talk about that because the horrors of Discord could be an entire video by itself. Let me know if you wanna see that. <laughs> but I used to be messaged by the weirdest people on kick anyone could message you 
Still can. And also, if I remember correctly, because there isn't really a lot of information on what kick used to be like in the day. So I'm really just basing this off my memory. So please correct me if I'm wrong. I remember there being a block button, but I never remember there being a report button, at least probably until later on. So I would have random 30 year olds messaging me knowing very well that I was 10, 11, 12. And even if I wanted to, because I didn't realize what the benefits were of a 30 year old messaging in a, an 11 year old was, even if I wanted to, I couldn't report them. So sure, you could block them, but they would just find another young person to start messaging and their account would never get flagged. Kick was also the introduction to the wondrous worlds of unsolicited dick pics. Like, wow, not even a high. <laughs> there was also just never a limit as to how many accounts you were able to make, which can be very dangerous because um, kids are fucking mean. Like I said in my grunge video, I, you know, I went to a conservative Christian middle school, very conservative. You know, I was an internet kid. I did YouTube myself. I already at a young age had some issues with Christianity. And even with those aside, I really did try to fit in and it just never worked. And you know what? Boo hoo. The people that peaked in seventh grade were making fun of with a little owie, but, um, this shit still sucked at the time. For those of you who are new to my channel, my, my username used to be Hey, it's Alley 5 And you know, not only would this username be screamed to me in the hallways as a wooden crucified Jesus Christ looked down upon me, but there was also a cake account made with that username and the profile picture was a photo of me with blackened eyes that looked like they were bleeding. So, and yeah, of course that's gonna be terrifying when you're young, blah, blah, blah. I would still be fucking terrified if I had someone messaging me with that. And this lovely account would uh, tell me to unalive myself, uh, hurt myself, threaten me, uh, the list goes on and on. And I probably would have gone to my parents or like my school about it, but I only got a few of these messages and it, it stopped after one night. So my theory is that it was a, a quirky fun activity for a few people at a sleepover. <laughs> so for them, it was a hee 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 moment, but I was, I was terrified. And yes, I'm laughing at the bullying cases that happened with me personally on kick, but it is very important to recognize that there were many bullying, cyberbullying cases that happened on kick that did have very unfortunate endings. At such a young age, we were given access to an app like this where this was made possible. And I'm blaming the users. I'm not, I'm not blaming kick for, you know, cyberbullying cases. And I absolutely hate when people are just like, oh, just turn off your phone. It's not that easy. You might think it's that easy, but when you're young and almost your entire life is on your phone because that's just what we've created, you know, not to say as a society, but we have. We've, we've created that a part of growing up is on your phone now. How are you going to expect someone to just completely throw away their phone, just turn it off, forget about it? And speaking of unfortunate endings, the same thing could be said about predatory cases. The reason that predatory cases got so bad is that, like I said, there was no moderation on this app. There wasn't. I'm sure Kick wasn't completely not in the know about predators messaging young people on their app until, you know, all these unfortunate endings started happening. I, I, it's very hard for me to believe that Kick just didn't know about those. The fact that third party resources had to start telling parents, hey, you need to start monitoring your kids if you, if they're using this app. That's where the problem really began lying. And to this day, I feel like they still really have not done that. They just within the past like eight months changed their their app age to 17. I'm gonna mention it later in the video, but for example, Tuv, he made a video about Kick and it's a great video and I'm gonna reference him more later on. But when he made the video, it was an app for 13 plus. So speaking of new Kick, I do wanna move on to that. Did you know that Kick was involved with a cryptocurrency scam? because I did not. And as much as I would love to talk more about the history of Kik, um, my brain can not wrap <laughs> around the concept of cryptocurrency talk. It, it just can't. So dumb version, which is also the quick version, because honestly, even though sure, I cannot wrap my head around it, I'm also just tired. I'm so tired of hearing about cryptocurrency scams and all these fucking Andrew Tate motherfuckers just like, trying to convince the world that it's a good way to make money. Like, I, I'm just over it. So they got sued by the SEC. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. Because they were dealing with a hundred million dollars in these digital tokens, and they didn't tell the SEC about it. Which I think is the illegal part. 
So let's bring up Tuv again. He made a really, really, really great video on modern day kick. And even though it was eight months ago, and honestly, a lot of large creators have talked about, you know, the issues that are still revolving around kick. There have not really been any changes. But if you have seen his video, you might see some similarities based on what I'm talking about and what he's talking about, but I'm still gonna do my best to talk about pretty different stuff and use different examples. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, kick is basically now an underground outlet, which is honestly fine, but um, it's the fact that I had to say underground and it's it's not really promoted as that. Know your user base, you know? They also do live streams on there, which they have cracked down on those, I have noticed. And to be fair, I think the reason why a lot of people do stream on there is because I have noticed many people smoking while they're on stream. And so maybe, maybe there are, you know, regular streamers on there who are streaming enjoying the fact that there is less moderation but with the fact that there's less moderation a lot of things slide under the radar so i somehow remembered my login from back in the day and right when i logged in the the first ad that i get um is for porn. <laughs> great start what the fuck is this allowed what the fuck is that there is one feature that I wanted to see for myself that I watched in Tubbs' video because I wanted to see if it had changed since when he talked about it, thinking that maybe it brought some awareness, you know? Um, it hasn't. So now with Kick, they're really trying to promote the fact that like everything's public, right? Like, oh, like you can make friends. It's a good opportunity to, you know, just get to know people. You know, you can find people with common interests, yada, yada, yada. Sounds great, right? You know, you can find people that like what you like. Um, sounds wholesome, right? wrong all right so let's look at what's trending gaming cool i love gaming click oh weird <laughs> let's ignore that history oh boy i love history that was my favorite subject in school let me see what oh that doesn't seem right cars what what could go wrong you know i love cars let's see Fuck. So yeah, it's it's very clear that there's no no moderating going on at all. So out of curiosity, I looked up 16, which you actually can't look up ages, so that's at least good. But if you type in the word, um, you can still find that. So I typed in the word 16 and looked at the people that were part of the chat and um yeah, and actually even in like the the regular chats the the members are are full of you know sex bots you can tell by the profile picture if anything to be fair this is an assumption maybe lorna the 28 year old with the lingerie profile picture just really likes bts <laughs> or cordula lula tabby tamara rain olwyn scarlet weird that they all have the same profile picture but um who's your bias I'd love to know. So yeah, like I said, there are regular streamers and it would be kind of messed up if I if I didn't mention that. And to be honest, the, the streaming part isn't really where the issue lies, at least not as much. It's just the chats where there are so many issues. I know it's not really common for young people or teenagers to really use this app, let alone even know what it is, but there are still young people using it. Since I did talk about, you know, BTS chats, and it's it's no secret that a lot of BTS fans are super young, there were a lot, a lot of profile pictures in these BTS group chats with super young people. Like you, you can tell they're really young by the profile picture. And the fact that that profile is right next to a sex bot or right next to a man who has his cr out, um, that's a problem. And and something that Tuv mentioned as well that he found out from a Reddit user who also has an experience on Kick is that predators will often scout for young people in mental health or LGBTQ plus community public chats because they know that typically young people who are in a group chat like that will be impressionable and vulnerable, making them an easier target. Honestly, them incorporating a public group chat function has probably doubled, if not tripled, the amount of young people getting groomed. The solution? No clue. This app is honestly so far gone. I think what would be best, maybe, is completely cutting ties with this whole making friends, public forum type environment 
and likely just switching it over to a full-on SW resource. By saying that and doing that, they will completely eliminate the, you know, the opportunity for young people to be on this app. Maybe that's not even an option on the app store. I really don't know. But just no matter what, I think the only solution at this point, because it is so far gone, is finding a way to completely cut ties with minors being on this site. Because basically until they make that big rebranding step, it it's, it's never gonna get better. And I do wanna take a second to be real here. <laughs> do you know how much money Kick could make if they just completely rebranded and embraced their, you know, 18 plus atmosphere and made it a palette. A big thing for, you know, SWs is Reddit. And if there's one thing that I've always noticed is that a lot of these, a lot of these workers, it's already a gateway. It's already a gateway to communicate with their customers. So it's like you already have so many of these, 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 you know, workers using this resource, using this app. It's like, Y'all are almost kind of goofy for not just rebranding it into this whole, you know, different world. <laughs> this tangent got a little weird, but I'm just being real and we're talking about the solution. I genuinely think that could be a solution. And obviously that's a lot of money to put into it. That's, you know, that is just basically throwing kick out the window and turning it into something else. There are so many kids that have been put in a very dangerous environment due to kick. And again, let's be real here. Sadly though, predators will be everywhere and find a way for pretty much everything. But if we can just eliminate one of the largest, largest sources, that's doing something. <laughs> like for fuck's sake. And if Kick is not gonna rebrand, let's be honest, they're not going to, um, then all we can really do is just educate. We just need to educate younger people about signs and, you know, about these case scenarios so that they don't become another victim. And the last thing I'm gonna mention is that the internet just keeps getting smarter and smarter, and so do people, especially the evil ones. Moderation for younger people is so necessary because otherwise it can just be too late. Like, as the internet gets smarter, it is a new responsibility for new people of parenthood or you know of being a bigger sibling it's it's a new world you know it's a completely new world and um that's something that i feel like does need to be more heavily focused on i guess so with that being said i think that's a wrap um thank you again alice vpn for sponsoring this video if you guys want to follow me my link tree will be in the description below and we hit 30,000 followers or subscribers fuck <laughs> um but yeah so thank you so much i this is the first time that i hit 30,000 so that's that's really really cool um back when i did youtube i think my peak was like 25,000 before you know obviously i didn't do youtube for a few years so that's that's really really great that's so fucking amazing and i appreciate all the support i've gotten all these new videos um it has genuinely been amazing the fact that i just came back and i already have two videos over a hundred thousand views that's that's so cool oh my god um but yeah so i genuinely appreciate it so 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 much and i feel so loved and i feel so appreciated so yeah, with that being said, uh, fuck you. I'm just gonna finish it anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great day, great week, um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.